Ocala Fire Rescue Chief Brad Clark has resigned from his position. Clark had been the chief of Ocala Fire Rescue for six years. Michael Alsop will step in to be interim chief. A civil rights group sought a federal injunction late Saturday to block the eviction of nearly 1,700 Puerto Rican hurricane evacuees from hotels across the country because assistance vouchers have now expired. A woman fatally shot herself during a routine traffic stop in Broward County. The Coast Guard has found a missing 33-year-old crew member who went overboard from a cruise ship near Cuba. Governor Rick Scott is heading to Kuwait to encourage troops during the 4th of July holiday. The governor will travel to Camp Arifian and Camp Uring next week where troops from the Florida National Guard and Army Reserves from Orlando are stationed. And the Green Army Man at Disney's Hollywood Studios have gone co-ed. For the first time, the park's entertaining toy soldiers group will now include women. And that is your news brief from The Source. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. On this Monday, intervals of clouds and sunshine high 88 to 92. Partly cloudy Monday night, low 73 to 77. For Tuesday, partly sunny high 87 to 91. For Wednesday, Independence Day, times of sun and clouds with a thunderstorm popping up in the afternoon, the high 85 to 89. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Have you gotten plenty of those dwarf, ever-blooming azaleas for just $3.99 at Bob Wine's Camellia Gardens in Ocala? If not, you've still got time this week. But hurry, because they usually sell out fast. Gorgeous dwarf ever-bloomers in the reddest red you've ever seen, just $3.99. Want to save up to 20% on cute and artsy stuff for your garden? Then go inside their genuine, old-timey greenhouse. Hundreds of items including bird baths, fountains, statues, yard art of all kinds, and much is marked down 20%. Also, don't forget to stock up on Bob Wine's famous pine straw mulch. Won't blow away, won't float away, and it's yours for as little as $4.75 for a big bag if you buy 10. Check the website, then go to Bob Wine's on Southeast 38th Street. Daily till 4.30, Monday through Friday, Saturdays till 3, in the same blooming place since 1952. You know how frogs are so hoppy? It's because they don't smoke or have COPD, otherwise they would be flip-floppy. If you want to quit smoking to prevent yourself from croaking, come to a better you for a good acupuncture poking. Call me, Dr. Erica Olstein, with a better you healthcare to stop smoking today at 352-615-5566. 352-615-5566. You're thinking about selling your home, but where do you start? Easy. Call Angie at 352-361-8359. Angie works with you to get your home sold. Angie is more than just an agent with Roberts Real Estate. She's a pro with heart. Call her at 352-361-8359, and you will know you have the right person. I'm Angie Umpleby, and I'm looking forward to working with you when you call me at 352-361-8359. That's 352-361-8359. All right. Thank you. Six minutes after 8 o'clock, Galen Unold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. Good morning, Galen. How you doing? Hey, good morning. Larry, Robin, how are you? Good. How was your weekend? Uh, it was good. It was uh, really good. Yeah. So, Stay. I mean, outside of the rain. <laughs> Does this week feel like a holiday week because of Wednesday? Uh, well, I'm going to take off uh, the second half of the week. But, um, yeah. It, the, the next three days for us as a blood center are incredibly difficult. So, oh, really? Um, yeah, just because donations are way down and there's a lot of traffic on the road, a lot of expected accidents. Um, you know, th- this is the kind of, of week where we just try to get through it and, and, and try to survive to the other side. So, yeah. So today's topic, and I'm going to put it on hold just for a little bit because I have something else I want to ask you. But today's topic we, we is about blood, uh, specifically because we always say when you donate blood you will save three lives right but i but mm-hmm. i wanted to ask you about the the conditions slash diseases that um can't be cured without blood donations but the person might sure. not the person might not necessarily die from whatever it is i was uh sure. there's, there's a backstory to that and i'll share that with you but in other words, we when we donate blood, we're going to save lives, but we also might get somebody back to normal, even though they won't die from whatever it is they're going through. It's, a, it's probably 
there's probably a lot of examples of that, but I just wanted to kind of share that with you a little bit. I have a cousin who's going through something is where, where that comes from. Ah, uh, okay. gotcha. All right, but before we do that, I have to ask you a question. You're kind of an outdoorsy guy, right? Uh, I guess so, yeah. I mean, you've been out of the mountain, and you're, you're, and you're a Florida guy, I mean, all of your life. Sure. So on uh, yesterday... Yesterday, Robin and I went to Rainbow Springs, and we walked out on one of those little, you know, elevated walkways, and down in the grass, in the water, a beautiful, beautiful place, by the way, there was a snake, and just living, that's his home, you know, and it was nice to see a snake there, so I did a little video of it, and put it on Facebook, and and um, I had no idea what it is, and, and I think that's what Robin and I say in the video, in the audio, you can hear us talking, well, I wonder what kind of snake it is, right? So people are telling me what it is. Now, somebody says water moccasin, somebody says cotton mouth, and somebody else says, oh my gosh, where's the other one? Uh, a, a banded water snake. So I went online to look at these pictures of these snakes, and all three of them look like the snake we saw. So I don't know how to tell. I mean, I'm not asking you to identify the snake we saw, because obviously, if you haven't seen the video, and even if you do see the video, it's a video. I mean, you might not see everything you need to see, you know? Yeah. But, I mean, are you good with this kind of thing? Can you? I mean, a rattlesnake I could probably tell, because it's a, got a rattle on it, right? I, I guess I, I'm not. I, I don't know much about snakes, I, other than I try to avoid them. <laughs> right, right, yeah, yeah. This one was in the water and yeah. and not swimming, but like kind of climbing over the le- the, the, the p- lily pads or whatever. I don't yeah, even know. <laughs> yeah. It was he was like basking in the sun, and he was dry, but then he was getting his head wet, so he might have been ready to go back in again. So here's a specific question about that, though. Is a is a um, uh, what do you call it? Cotton a cotton mouse? mouth the same as a water moccasin? Is it one and the same? Yes. Oh, yes. It, oh, it is. Yes. Oh, it is. Because the inside of its mouth is all white, and it looks like cotton. So those are interchangeable terms. Oh, so, so. it's the same snake. Well, that I didn't know. Okay. Oh, okay. I yeah. just wondered because I, when I looked it up, it kind of looked like it was directing me in two different ways. All right. So the other one, what was the other one called? The the banded water snake. Yeah. I know what that is. Yeah. This one was like gray. Yeah, I couldn't see any bands on it, but who knows? Who knows? Yeah. By the way, speaking of bands, I was listening to a podcast <laughs> of new bands. I don't know anything. I don't, I don't. I forget it. I'm just out of touch with the whole music world. <laughs> everything I know about music is old. Everything. So, mm-hmm. everything. so, see, this is the thing with sports. The teams keep the same names, right? But you don't know the lineup anymore if you if, no. you, if you don't pay attention to it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but at least you know the name well, of the team. Well, and, and the rules don't change, right? For the most part, the rules don't change. But in music, the rules are constantly changing. Good point. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I mean, what is okay? What is what is cool? What is hip? It, it it's it's t- you you almost can't keep up with music. No, no, you can't. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you you have to try for your children, um, but that's about it. it it's just uh, really, really difficult. Yeah, it, it is, and I guess it's not even necessary. It's such a, a you know, it's such a personal thing. You don't really need to know any of that stuff. All right, so I have something I want to share with you. Um, how is the blood supply? Let's start there. Um, we're we're again we're we're hurting. This is July fourth. This is uh. uh I used to equate it as this is our Super Bowl for the blood bank. If you really want to shine, if you want to become a star, then go out there and, and really work hard for the, for, the, for the patients that we serve. So just get out there, give to get the life, donate blood, and um, you know, do your part because we are hurting. <laughs> are, are you going to be at On Top of the World for the fireworks on Wednesday and also at uh, God and Country Day? I know we're at God and Country Day. That, that I'll, I'll have to find out about the uh, at it on top of the world. I know we've been there in the past, so I'll, I'll have to find out about that. One. Where did where did we see the Life South bus? Where did we made a U turn and we saw the Life South bus? Oh, uh, on two hundred, it was going traveling. Oh, it was. Uh, no, it was. Uh, where was it? A Sam's Club. We, okay. We made a U turn at Sam's Club. Right. Over the weekend, and we saw your bus there. Okay. Right. Exactly. It had okay. your your there name you on it. Yes. With the WCA emblem on the side. Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, Palm Garden of Ocala. Take, keep that in mind. If you, if you know anybody or if you yourself might need some rehabilitative care, 
Uh, I have a cousin I'm going to tell you about in a second who just went to a rehab facility up in uh, Connecticut. Um, and that's kind of where the, the topic of today comes from. Uh, anyway, go to Palm Garden of Ocala. See why people choose Palm Garden of Ocala for their health needs, their rehabilitative stays, uh, or their respite needs, um, long-term health care, all of the above. Ask questions and find out what it actually means when they say they, have a, they are a skilled nursing facility. They're at 2700 Southwest 34th Street here in Ocala. Beautiful, very immaculately clean, and, and uh, great. All the amenities are great. The uh, eating, the, the activities, the outdoor area. Uh, Penn Flooring, 1201 Southwest 17th Street. Go there and check out their showroom. And if you are looking for a new floor for your home, a new carpet, a new wood floor, for example, um, just make your home more beautiful from the floor up. Get that old one ripped up and put something new down, and you will be happy. The thing will last for a long time. Mm-hmm. It'll clean up to look brand new for years and years. Uh, it's a- absolutely worth it to get something high quality like the product they sell at Penn Flooring. Uh, they're at 1201 Southwest 17th Street. Tell them that we said hi. Tell them that thank you for sponsoring Galen's Lifestyle yeah. segment, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I got, I got a letter from my, uh, I got a phone call actually from my, my cousin. Mm-hmm. Her husband, who's also my cousin by marriage, right? Yes. Uh, is in the hospital with something called, now I'm going to pronounce it, it's called Guillain Barre syndrome. And if you'd looked at it without seeing the pronunciation guide, it would look like Galen hyphen Barr syndrome. Have you ever heard of this? No, I haven't. Okay. No. Well, what she told me is that he can't swallow. But this is what it says on the WebMD thing, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, it says it is a rare disorder in which your body's immune system attacks your nerves. Okay? I'll just kind of leave it at that. Now, what that has to do with blood donations and the topic for today is you go through all these things that it gives you the risk factors, the complications. And, of course, everybody wants to know, can it be cured? The answer is yes. It's kind of like Robin's uh, Bell, Bell's palsy thing she had. Yeah. It could, it could be a day. It could be a week. It could be three years. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, the treatment is this. Uh, the, the plasma exchange. Plasmapheresis, I guess is what they call it, right? Yeah. It's a, yeah. There, we call it therapeutic apheresis, but yes. Okay. Yeah. So without that treatment, this, this doesn't ever go away. You you continue with this for the rest of your life, okay? Wow. So so I thought to myself, wait a minute. We always talk about blood saving lives, but what about blood getting people back to being whole again, even though they might not die from their condition? Yeah, exactly. Is it is it? I mean, this can't be the only disease this happens for, correct? No, no, not at all. Um, there's a there's a. There's a lot of blood products or blood transfusions and blood processes that, you know, get people and save their lives. I mean, it, it sounds like your nephew wouldn't be doing that well without it. So um, that, that falls in that realm. Yeah. OK. His name is Evan. So, I mean, we, we just have to uh, we have to remember that. So when you donate. So if he's doing plasma apheresis. What that means is that he is going and he's going on an apheresis machine. And what they're doing is they're taking his old blood out, all right, and doing a transfusion, and they're putting new blood in. And that and that's a process where they try to, and I'm sure he's undergoing many, 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 many different pro- pro- procedures for this. Sometimes it takes three. Sometimes it can take as many as six. Um, so it, it just depends. And that's done by one of our nurses. Um, and they go into the hospital and they do these plasma exchanges and, um, it, it gets them back on their feet or keeps them alive so they can continue to undergo, uh, different therapies. Yeah. So, so that, that was the plasma phoresis. There was one more thing that said they right. use blood <laughs> products for, and they call it immunoglobul, globulin therapy. Do you know what that is? Uh-huh. What is yeah, that? I do. Yeah, that's basically where your blood is no longer uh, having a positive impact on your on your uh, body, right? Because uh, if you think about blood, it's what solves all of your problems in layman's terms. So the blood cycles around; it carries white cells, it carries red cells, it heals your body, um, it, and so all your immune system is basically through your bloodstream. 
And so what's happening is, is your body is no longer able to have the positive impact on your, on your immune system. So um, you end up uh, needing a blood transfusion. And, wow. and, and in, in both those cases, I mean, it's us, the, the general public, that says, yeah, I'm going to donate blood. And, and knowing him, I'm guessing he's been donating blood all of his life. He's probably one of those guys. He's really a good steward of the earth and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, exactly. So I'm sure he's been he's doing wonderful. that. So, so, I mean, uh, it is something that we never think about. We donate blood. So, oh, we, somebody would have died if it wasn't for me. Well, maybe somebody is back to normal because of you. Mm -hmm. Right? That's absolutely right. Yeah, absolutely right. And uh, uh, too, you know, sometimes babies are born and they need a blood transfusion right away. And and you're right there when they're up in Shands, you know, Life South is right there immediately. Yeah, well, the blood is already there. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then if they need an exchange and they just call us, and that's something that you set up, and, uh, it takes a little bit of time. So tell me, I, I think one of the other ones on the list was sickle cell disease. Um, and uh, tell, tell me about that. That That's another one where, or, or does sickle cell eventually cause the person to lose his or her life without blood transfusions or or do they just live with the disease unless they get a blood transfusion uh sickle cell um is a is a deadly disease it's it's what we what you can do is you can cure the symptoms or i i, I don't know if that's the right word but all you can do is kind of uh control it um so what we're trying to do is and the only way you can kind of solve the problem is by getting a blood transfusion and so what sickle cell disease is is it usually hits uh african americans and, and latin american people and what it is it's, it's your body's way of adapting and overcoming malaria and and so what happens is, is your red cells form in the shape of a sickle so typically red cells are formed in a disc and they're kind of lower in the middle and they, that way they can kind of bend and shape and get through capillaries. So when, when you have sickle cell, they get stuck in the capillaries and that's when you get swollen joints, you can't move, you're very lethargic. Um, and it, it's, it's painful when you see a young child that, uh, that has sickle cell disease and they're going through a crisis. It's just, it's one of the, it's one of the hardest things I've ever dealt with. Um, and so what you do is when you get a blood transfusion, it takes out the old and puts in the new. Uh, and, and that's basically what we do. And, and so a lot of kids who have sickle cell, you know, they have to get a blood transfusion every six weeks. Oh, and so that's, wow. why, that's why something that wipes out. And usually they get either two or three different uh, units of red cells. And so that's why we have a program called Sickle Cell Heroes. And so if you're a sickle cell hero, that means your blood is going to a sickle cell patient for the most part. We actually have a pool of donors that are selected and they only donate for one patient. Um, and that's, that's, uh, that, that's our latest thing. So we're kind of excited about that. We've been working on it for a while, working with the CDC on really trying to get some funding for it because, um, Sickle cell, it's, a, it's a, just a brutal disease, and it can be stopped if you know you're a carrier. Um, just don't have a baby with somebody else who's a carrier and, and of that sickle cell trait, and you, and you can kind of stop it. So, Oh, my. Um, yeah, yeah. And the sickle cell is something that's close to me, and I, I've, I, I, I'm a big proponent of it. I've been a part of several councils. I've done presentations on sickle cell, and and blood donations and so just more people need to know about it and how to help it and there's no funding for it there's no funding because it hits the wrong type of people it's not breast cancer which is incredibly sexy and you know everybody loves you know to save the tatas and um the, the problem is is it, it it hits people of color that are young and and, and have no money and don't have any insurance mm -hmm. and, and really can't deal with the disease themselves that's the problem Wow, this is this is a great explanation about this. So, this is a huge understanding on my part now yeah, for yeah, what yeah. exactly it is. So in their case, though, we do save lives when we donate blood for them, or or we prolong lives, or 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 give a, a quality of life back, right? I mean, all, yeah, absolutely, all of the above. Wow. Yeah. 
You, you, we had a, a conversation with you one time. There was uh, somebody in an accident, and I think it was a lady, and I think she eventually died. But I remember you were giving us updates, like for a few days before she died, and she was using hundreds of units of blood. Remember that? that it was a yeah. long time ago, I, but I remember that real clearly. It, it happened. Sure. Yeah. yeah, it absolutely happened. But I, just, I mean, just think about it. You know, you're out there. You, we, we drove to Daytona. And there was two times, two times between here and Daytona on highway, what is that, 40? Yes. Um, where it looked like the car in the oncoming lane was going to, for some reason, drift over to my side. And I thought, oh, my gosh, what are, what are people not looking? Yeah. What's yeah. going on? Frustrating. You know, they're Horrible. looking at, uh, yeah, twice I saw a vehicle. I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but. Yeah. I was like, oh, my gosh, what do I do? I you know, I had to, you know, but fortunately, in, in our cases, they. Uh, they went back, and I thought it just takes one person, one one second to not pay attention, and somebody innocent is is in the hospital needing blood. Exactly. That that's exactly right. Um, I mean, we all have uh, moments where we we survive because of God's grace, right? I, I mean, that's that's just a real fact. My whole life. So, God is good. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, and and so. I, I believe that blood donations can carry that on, and 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 that's that's why, why everybody should do it. So, and people have huge hearts. And uh, one thing about the summertime, when the schools are out, uh, you lose a lot of the donors because the students absolutely really step up to the plate here in Marion County, and they're fantabulous yeah. about donating blood. But then summertime comes, and they're off, and summer jobs are on vacation, and that's one of the reasons the blood supply goes down. So the adults got to right. step up to the plate to compensate. That's right. So anyway, uh, so in addition to the, the statement we make on a daily basis, um, donate blood, save three lives, uh, we'll add to that one, donate blood, improve somebody's quality of life. Yes. There, there are some people who just won't be living very happy or very comfortably unless they get some blood. And fortunately, it's always there. Because, you know, Galen, as, as much as we're in critical need, does, let me ask you this, and this is maybe a hard one to answer. If somebody is like my cousin, for example, who's not going to die without blood, he's mm -hmm. he's fine. He he just won't get better. Yeah. And so and somebody else in the hospital will die. I'm guessing the doctors, if they have a choice, or they don't have a choice, I guess they have to pick the one. Obviously, the blood goes to the person who's going to die. Let the other person kind of wait. Right? Is that hap is that what happens? No, 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 um, no, no. Well, no. Thankfully, um, our blood supply is safe enough that you know doctors don't have to make that choice. Because um, if they do, then I failed, then the blood center failed, then our community failed, and uh, that hasn't happened in a in a long, long time. Now, what can happen is uh, when you hear of these stories through people who can't find the a blood match is where you just don't find a, a unit that is compatible with this human being. And, and that does happen. There are people with, with such rare blood uh, types um, that we have them actually donate and freeze it just for themselves. It's rare. It's incredibly, incredibly rare, but that, that's, a, that's a real thing. Oh my gosh. So when you freeze the blood, what special thing do you do to thaw it out so none of the good stuff that's in the blood disappears? <laughs> well, you know, we just it, it's 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 there's a glycerine that goes into it and stuff like that. So oh. it gets really technical and it goes over my head. Mm -hmm. I, I don't deal with the freezing of the blood. So I don't wow, really know. this is so fascinating! Wow. I love this. I love this topic. Uh, we uh, we like to uh, have fun with Galen, but once in a while, I like to focus on what he does and uh, and the and what the other people in the blood world do. Yeah, um, it's it's an amazing thing. From Life South Community Blood Center. And the other day, I don't know if you, how many of you heard of it. I, I had the the sheet of paper. You can anybody can download it off of LifeSouth.org, and it shows their statistics. And among them is the money mm -hmm. part of it. And they, they really are a nonprofit. They don't yeah. make much. No, but not the, at all. The money that comes in versus the money that is spent is almost the same amount. Mm -hmm. So It's amazing. So. You guys go above really and beyond is. always. Uh, all right, so um, where's the Bloodmobile today? Hey, the Bloodmobile today, uh, we're actually at the Walmart right there on in Summerfield. But then for July 4th, I found out we're going to be in the morning, we're going to be at the Vets Memorial Park. 
and then we're going to go to On Top of the World for their fireworks and also God and Country Day. Oh, wonderful. So, excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Uh, and, and I'm guessing just because it's the 4th of July, there's probably a higher need, not only from traffic accidents, but just from people not donating because they're, they're taking the time off. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, beautiful. Yeah. 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 All right. So it's exactly a, right. Donate blood. Uh, when you go into the blood mobile, say, you know, I'm friends with Galen. <laughs> and, and trust me, trust me, they'll, they'll treat you special. That's right. They know because you. Galen is a boss. <laughs> <laughs> Galen is a corporate boss. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> do you wear do you wear a tie to work? Uh, only if I have like a meeting or something. <laughs> oh, okay. I try, to, I try to avoid it. This time of the year, especially. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's so hot. All right, Galen. Well, thank you for what you do and for helping us understand these things and. Uh, Get making all of us more aware of why we need to donate blood. Thanks for what you do. Yeah, thank, thank you for the opportunity. Okay. I we'll, we'll be right back. Veterans Helping Veterans USA. Call 352-433-2320. We help veterans and their families with limited financial assistance, counseling, employment referrals, and a food and clothing bank. You can help in making a huge difference in the veterans' lives we serve by donating food, clothing, household items, or direct financial assistance. All donations are tax deductible. Veterans Helping Veterans USA. 352-433-2320. Thank you for your attention and God bless America. On the first and third Wednesday mornings of each month at 9.05, Robert Colin will be with us from On Top of the World, Ocala's premier active adult community. Be sure to listen and be sure to call in. Speak with Robert to learn about all the exciting lifestyle and new home choices available at On Top of the World. From time to time, Robert will have guests and we're sure you will enjoy our little chats. You deserve the world and we bring it to you. So be sure to tune in on the first and third Wednesdays of each month right here on The Source WOCA. Fox News Radio. I'm Chris Foster. President Trump says he'll announce his Supreme Court nominee a week from today and that he probably will not ask candidates specifically about abortion. Fox's Maria Bartiromo asked about his campaign promise to leave the issue to individual states. Maybe someday it will be to the states. You never know how that's going to turn out. Maine Republican Senator Susan Collins says she told the president she would not support a nominee who'd rule against Roe versus Wade. I told him that I was looking for a nominee that would demonstrate a respect for precedent. She was on ABC's This Week. Arrests at the border are down. The big question now, is that drop just a seasonal trend or is it the result of President Trump's zero-tolerance policy of prosecuting every adult who enters the country illegally. The Border Patrol making more than 34,000 arrests during June, down 16% from May's total. Fox's Paul Stevens. Fox News. We report, you decide. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. It's the Ace Red, White, and Blue Sale. The perfect time to buy a grill from our exclusive lineup of premium brands, like the latest from Weber, Traeger, and more. And right now, get free assembly and free delivery on our top grill brands, $3.99 and up. Get the right grill delivered right to your house. Hurry in before it ends. The red, white, and blue sale only at Ace. Offer valid for Ace Rewards members only through July 9th. See participating store for scheduling and details. Ryan! I don't know how else to say this, so I'll just say it. What is it, Linda? I think we should see other people. Are you breaking up with me on a roller coaster? Well, we do have a lot of fun. Maybe we should stay together! Ah! An emotional roller coaster? Surprising. What's not surprising? How much you could save by switching to GEICO. I just need a little me time! Ah! GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Have you gotten plenty of those dwarf, ever-blooming azaleas for just $3.99 at Bob Wine's Camellia Gardens in Ocala? If not, you've still got time this week. But hurry, because they usually sell out fast. Gorgeous dwarf ever bloomers in the reddest red you've ever seen, just $3.99. Want to save up to 20% on cute and artsy stuff for your garden? Then go inside their genuine old-timey greenhouse. Hundreds of items, including bird baths, fountains, statues, yard art of all kinds, and much is marked down 20%. Also, don't forget to stock up on Bob Wine's famous pine straw mulch. Won't blow away, won't float away, and it's yours for as little as $4.75 for a big bag if you buy 10. Check the website 
Then go to Bob Wines on Southeast 38th Street. Daily till 4.30, Monday through Friday, Saturdays till 3, in the same blooming place since 1952. You know how frogs are so hoppy? It's because they don't smoke or have COPD, otherwise they would be flip floppy. If you want to quit smoking to prevent yourself from croaking, come to a better you for a good acupuncture poking. Call me, Dr. Erica Olstein, with a better you healthcare to stop smoking today at 352-615-5566. 352-615-5566. You're thinking about selling your home, but where do you start? Easy. Call Angie at 352-361-8359. Angie works with you to get your home sold. Angie is more than just an agent with Roberts Real Estate. She's a pro with heart. Call her at 352-361-8359, and you will know you have the right person. I'm Angie Umpleby, and I'm looking forward to working with you when you call me at 352-361-8359. That's 352-361-8359. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the third Wednesday of each month at 9:30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. Insurance needs got you worried? Clifford Insurance has you covered with over 25 premium carriers. Family owned and operated with 200 years plus of combined experience. Call them today, 352-245-5455. Clifford Insurance has the expertise you and your family deserves. Give me, Alicia Clifford, a call today for a free quote at 352-245-5455. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is...